Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create super fast AMP landing pages using Swipe Pages. And if you don't know about Swipe Pages, then this is a AMP landing page builder using which you can build high converting landing pages in minutes. This is a drag and drop page builder that you can join for free here. There is no credit card required, and uh, the link is also in the description. And here you can see this is a drag and drop page builder. You can you can change colors. You can use all these elements and you can create these type of landing pages with a few clicks. You can also publish your pages to a custom domain within minutes. And if you want to learn more about the introduction then you can watch my previous videos. And in this video I will focus on how you can create a page then how you can publish that page. And at the end I will show you how you can make money by creating landing pages. And if you scroll down here you can see more like this is an AMP app conversion and uh, you can see lower bounce rates, better conversion, trusted by leaders and you can create mobile responsive pages there is a separate version for the mobile builder also using which you can create pages like these just like a mobile app this is a simply drag and drop builder as I showed you and I'll be covering this in this video and you can see there are high converting templates available that you can import and you can customize based on your needs and you can publish landing page to your domain or your subdomain you can connect this with these type of platforms like Zephyr, MailChimp, ConvertKit and so on. But in this video we are going to focus on the design so that how we can design a page and how we can make it mobile responsive and so on. So without further ado let's get started. There is a link in the description. Click on it and it will take you to swipe pages. And here again you can join this for free. Just click on it. And then write your full name, email and password and then start a free trial. I already have a few accounts so let me go to the login page. And here you can see I have lots of plugins for the swipe pages and this is because I am working on it for the last 2 years and I have created these landing pages for different clients. I will show you some pages that I created for the clients later in this video. So let me log into swipe pages and show you the platform. And after login to swipe pages you will see a dashboard like this. Here on the left side you can see landing pages so here you will find all the pages you have created. And these are funnels where you can create funnels that we will cover later on. Then we have global blocks. So you can save a blog as a global and you can use it on different pages. For example if you are creating a multi-page website you can create a footer or a header that you can use on all pages. Then save templates so you can maximize your efficiency with customizable save templates. Then domains so here you will find all the domains you have connected to your pages and global script and here you can add script and tracking codes and lastly you have custom fonts so here you can upload your custom fonts that are not available in swipe pages you can use your own fonts by the way many fonts like the custom fonts and the google fonts are available in swipe pages so you may not use this option much then we have e-commerce section so as i said you can sell your products on swipe pages you can add a product you can build a page for it and then you can sell it you can connect different payment gateways like stripe paypal reserve pay bill please and so on then we have coupons so you can create coupons and store settings so you can change your currency your basic info and so on then at the end we have integrations so as i said you can connect and you can integrate different email subscription platforms like mailchimp convertkit and all these now let me show you how we can create a landing page and then how we can optimize that page okay so again you can go to sites and here you can go to landing pages and here you can start creating a page before that let me show you a page i have created so let's open this and visit this in a new tab and this is a page i created for my client you can see we have logos this section then these are some blog posts and so on so you can create these type of pages using swipe pages now let's go back and let's start creating a new page so here you can click on create new page here you can give it a name for example and then click here to go to the next tip here you can choose a page type the first one is AMP page this is best for google search ads then smart page this is best for omni channel campaigns but this is recommended by swipe pages then we have mobile slides as i said we can create an app like page that we can swipe just like an app or a slider so if you are creating a page specifically for mobile you can choose this one for now let's choose smart page and then you will get a number of templates that you can use and you can import with one click and then you can customize them and you can also start from scratch here so if you have an idea about swipe pages you can start a blank page and you can create a page the way you want it for now let's choose any template from here and i'll show you how you can add different sections so you will learn how we can work with swipe pages if you want to view a template you can just click on it 
and this will open up the template preview you can see a logo on the top then we have main section with an image we have this section then again a section and so on then a pricing section and a footer and again you can add more section to it you can delete unwanted sections you can customize the existing section and so on if you want to check the mobile view you can click on it and this is how it will look on mobile and you can close it and you can check another one and so on now let's say this is fine so we can just use it now this will open up swipe pages builder you can design and customize the page and before designing customization let me go through all these elements that you are seeing in this page so the first thing here is we have this navigator where we can navigate to different sections this is the first section so if i click on it this is the second section here you can see we have a row then we have three columns and in, under each column we have an icon heading and text so this is a navigator where you can find all the elements and then we have all these elements okay like heading text buttons images icons cards and so on and you can use any of these just by drag and drop and you can customize it that we will call later on and then we have settings so this is setting for the whole page like you can add your fake on here you can add header which is this header and we have a logo here we can create button and menu here we can change the menu typography we can change the background color of this header here we have typography so we can set the typography for the whole page like we can change the fonts we can change the font size the font variant the line height for different headings for the body paragraph which is this text for the captions for the button text and so on and we can also change the typography for different devices like this is for the desktop view if i switch to mobile this will change the size here so we can change it for the mobile only then we have colors so you can customize the colors for the whole page like this is the primary color you can see on the buttons this is complementary which is white for the titles we have this colors that you can see here this is the tertiary color and orange gradient and you can create your custom colors by adding colors we have tracking codes seo social sharing custom css and so on that we will cover later on when we need it okay now let's start designing the page let's say you want to change this title click on it and this will open this cursor you can now change it so i will write something like this and that's it again you can change the heading so if i change this to h2 this will change the size and fonts and so on so let's keep it as h1 for now you can change the content width this is now full width so i can decrease the width like this and i can align this to center or right just like this and uh, we can also change its color so we can use any of our own colors or we can choose any of these colors we can use something like this and this is the background color you can change the background color for this heading then this is the title typography where you can again change the font family font size line height and so on let's change this font family so i'll click on it and i can use any of these fonts let's use something like poppins you will notice change here okay this is now poppins font family and i can also change its variant like i can make it bold and this is how it will look if you don't like the changes you can press ctrl z or command z and this will reward the changes okay you can also clear the styling from here and then we have advanced step where you can add spacing to this heading you can add borders you can add dynamic text shadows and so on and same goes for this text this button and so on if you want to change the button text you can change the text here you can add subtext here like small text this is a secondary text to the button okay let's remove this and you can change the button url here so you can link this to your website or you can link this to a pop-up that we can create in swipe pages you can link this to call email and you can also go to a specific section on this page and in the style tab you can customize the button style like you can make it small medium large block and extra large and so on you can change its shape like square rounded and so on and you can also align this to center or right this is the spacing between the text the border size and so on and here you can change the color if you don't like this color you can change it to something like this or this and so on and this is the text color on the button the secondary text color and also the border color 
Now if I hold mouse here you can see the border is not showing so I can go to hold and I can change the border color and hold to that specific color. Now you will notice it as you can see. This is the star rating here you can customize the star rating you can make it like 4 star review, 5 star and so on. And this is an image okay you can click on it and you can upload your own image here and you can use it. So to upload an image click on it go to upload click on it and now you can upload any image for now let's use this image ok i'll open this we'll click upload and this will upload the image now to find it you can go to my images and click on it and click insert and this is how you can change the image now this is not looking good as you can see but you can go to style and you can change its width to 100 percent or just remove it and that's it so now we have changed the image, we have changed the colors, we have changed the whole colors and so on. If you don't like the background you can click on this while you seeing the section. And here you can change the section background, the section background color. You can change the position of the background, you can make it cover, contain and so on. And you can explore all these options. You can also go to advanced to change the spacing, border, shadow for this specific section. Now let's say this is our page but I want to add a new section. So I can scroll down all the way to the bottom. And I can browse templates. There are multiple templates available in swipe pages that you can use with one click. And here you can also filter these with intro section, content, features, reviews and so on. Let's say we need a call to action so we can click on it. And we can use this. But let's use this section. Okay, I can click on it. We'll load template. And that's it. Now this is an image placeholder. Okay, I can change it. So I will click on it. We'll click this. And I can use any image like this one for example and we change the image and again you can change the image height and width by going to style and you can make it 120 this will increase the height click on it you can change the title here you can change the subtext and you can also change the button text and these are icon boxes so you can change the icon here by clicking here and you can use another icon for example this one and that's it and now if you want to move this section to the top you can just click on this while you are seeing section ok then click on this eye icon this will show you the section and navigator now you can drag this you can move this to the top or anywhere you want let's say i want this to be my third section now you can see this is the first section second and third and that's it so this is how you can work with swipe pages and this is how you can make a page using swipe pages and you can customize it. Again you can use different section from the templates and you can filter them, you can use them and you can customize. And if you want to create a new section you can click on blank section. Then you can choose a specific structure like a specific column layout. I need three column layouts so I will click on it. Then we have three columns. Now I can click on this section to change its background so I'll use a color from here or I'll use this color now under each column we can add different elements like I can click on this plus now I can use any of these elements so let's add social icons here ok I will use icon group now we have these icons so I will open any of these and instead of this one I'll search for Facebook and let's use this one and the icon this will change the icon here. I'll go back. We'll choose the second one. And here I'll use Twitter for example. And go back. I'll use Instagram here. And that's it. I got social icons here. I can move these to the next column here. And I can align these to center. Like this. And also I can change the column alignment. So if I click on column. I can align these items to center like this or to the end like this. Let's align this to center. And let's add another thing here like an image or a video. And this is the video URL. You can copy a URL from YouTube and you can paste it here. You can go to advanced, you can go to border and you can give it some border radius like 10. This will make the corner rounded. I can again move this to this corner if I want to. And let's add some text here, for example, heading. And I'll write about. I'll go to elements, we'll go to text. And this is our text now. So, a video, social icons, and text. I add these within a minute.
let's give it this color now i'll click on it to move it to the top here and that's it and now let's say this is fine okay so i can check the mobile view also and the mobile view is fine and let's say this is not good so i can click on it and uh, i'll go to title typography and we'll change its size to something like 24 now this will change the font size only for mobile view once you finalize your page you can just click on save and this is your and your page is saved now if you want to check the preview you can click on it so you can see we got the page with a few clicks with the section we created the logos testimonial and so on let's go back so you can add videos images image slider multi-layer images testimonial sliders countdowns galleries tables and so on you can use all these elements and you can customize i was just giving you an idea about swipe pages okay and at the end you can publish the page to your domain that you have connected to swipe pages uh, you can connect this to a swipe pages url which will be a dummy url let's close this i already have showed you in the previous video that how you can connect to your domain okay and as i said i'll show you how you can make money with creating landing pages so the method is the same you can provide the landing page service on fiverr up for car freelancer you can create landing pages for the clients and you can charge them for these landing pages you don't have to pay anything you can ask your client to sign up for swipe pages and your client will give you the login and you will just need to create the page i already have a gig about swipe pages let me quickly show you this is my gig about swipe pages okay here you can see i've got many reviews about this this is a client from united states i have created this landing page for him and this is another one from netherlands that i showed you this is from spain i created this page australia and so on so you can provide a landing page service on different freelance platforms and you can start making money using landing pages and to learn more about wordface and landing pages you can follow my channel i have lots of videos about them and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next